മുൻകൂട്ടി നിശ്ചയിച്ച പ്രകാരം ചന്ദ്രയാൻ മൂന്നിന്റെ ലാൻഡർ വീണ്ടും ഉയർത്താനായത് വൻ വിജയമെന്ന് പ്രൊജക്ട് ഡയറക്ടർ പി വീരമുത്തുകൾ ചന്ദ്രയാൻ രേഖപ്പെടുത്തിയ പ്രകമ്പനങ്ങൾ ചന്ദ്രനിൽ സ്വാഭാവികമായി സംഭവിക്കുന്നതെന്ന് അസോസിയേറ്റ് പ്രൊജക്ട് ഡയറക്ടർ കെ കൽപ്പനയും പറഞ്ഞു ചന്ദ്രയാൻ രേഖപ്പെടുത്തിയ വിവരങ്ങൾ ശാസ്ത്രലോകം കാത്തിരുന്നുവെന്നും ദൗത്യത്തിന് പിന്നിൽ പ്രവർത്തിച്ച ശാസ്ത്രജ്ഞർ ജനൻ ടി വിയോട് വ്യക്തമാക്കി ചന്ദ്രയാൻ മൂന്നിന്റെ വിജയത്തിന് ശേഷം രണ്ട് വിശിഷ്ട വ്യക്തികൾ ഇന്ന് നമ്മോടൊപ്പം ചേരുകയാണ് ചന്ദ്രയാൻ ദൗത്യത്തിൽ ചേർന്ന് പ്രവർത്തിച്ച അവർ മിഷൻ ഡയറക്ടറും അതുപോലെ തന്നെ മിഷൻ പ്രൊജക്ട് ഡയറക്ടറും അതുപോലെ തന്നെ പ്രൊജക്ട് അസോസിയേറ്റ് ഡയറക്ടറുമാണ് നമ്മോടൊപ്പം ചേരുന്നത് പ്രൊജക്ട് അസോസിയേറ്റ് ഡയറക്ടർ ശ്രീമതി കെ കൽപ്പന അതുപോലെ തന്നെ പ്രൊജക്ട് ഡയറക്ടർ പി വീരമുത്തുവേൽ എന്നിവരാണ് നമ്മോടൊപ്പം ചേരുന്നത് തീർച്ചയായും വലിയൊരു നേട്ടമുണ്ടാക്കിയതിന് ശേഷം ഇവർ ആദ്യമായി നമ്മളോട് സംബന്ധിക്കുകയാണ് ആ സംബന്ധ സംബന്ധിക്കുന്നതിൽ ഏറെ ഗൗരവമായ വിഷയങ്ങൾ നമുക്ക് ചോദിച്ചറിയാനുമുണ്ട് സർ ഡയറക്ട്ലി ഐ എം കമ്മിങ് ടു ദ ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ വാട്ട്സ് ദ റിസ്ക് ഫാക്ടേഴ്സ് ദാറ്റ് യു ഹാവ് ഫേസ്ഡ് ഇൻ ദ ലാൻഡിങ് വാട്ട് ദ വൈൽ യു ആർ ലാൻഡിങ് യു ഹാവ് ഡൺ ഡിഫറെൻറ്റ് തിങ്സ് ഓഫ് ടെർമിനൽ ഡിസൻസ് ആൻഡ് ലാസ്റ്റ് സിക്സ്റ്റി സിക്സ്റ്റി മീറ്റർ ഹോവറിങ് വാസ് ഓൾസോ ഹാപ്പൻഡ് സോ എൻറ്റയർലി എ ഡിഫറെൻസ് അഡീഷൻ ഹാസ് ബിൻ ടൺ ഓൺ ദാറ്റ് കേസ് സോ ഹൗ ഡിഡ് യു അറേഞ്ച് ദാറ്റ് ആൻഡ് വൈ ഡിഡ് യു അറേഞ്ച് ആൻഡ് ആഡ് അറ്റ് ദാറ്റ് uh the the entire power descent phase consists of uh, broadly four phases one is rough breaking phase attitude wall phase fine breaking phase and terminal descent phase so the terminal descent phase we had uh, uh, two hoverings one is at uh, 800 meter another one is at 150 meter hovering the 150 meter hovering point is very crucial where we are operating this hazard detection and avoidance sensor we need to avoid the obstacle even though we have selected a site of 4 by 2.4 km in size but still we require a safe site which meets our engineering constraints so for that we need to necessarily operate this camera and we should avoid the obstacles so it has got uh, three outputs one is uh, directly it can descend to the uh, where it is hovering second one is uh, it can have a capability of uh, moving the platform radially by 150 meter maximum to our fortunate on that day we had a output where nadir was safe that is la- lander wherever we were hovering straight we can land so that means we straight came from 150 meter to touchdown okay thank you very much and i am directly going to the results of the payload that we had and primarily we got the temperature and we we got the uh, anthra survey and the uh, metal sub- uh, substance i had on the surface of the moon and all these things were we identified what are the features of this uh, and uh, what are the importance of measuring the temperature of the surface actually we have uh, on lander we have three payload instruments and on rover we have two payload instruments so all put together have given very good signs so coming to lander we have three payloads as i said a chaste payload which is a uh, instrument to conduct thermophysical measurements actually it will be measuring the thermal profile of the lunar regolith and uh, apart from that we have the ilsa payload which is a lunar seismo- uh, seismic graph actually payload which will be measuring the seismicity of the lunar uh, surface soil and uh, one more we have the luna our uh, ramba payload which is a langmuir probe which will be measuring the plasma environment in the uh, near to the lander so all these are going to give good signs so we'll be understanding what is the thermal properties of the lunar surface by measuring the by we have some on the probe we have some ten temperature sensors are put which will be doing the me- temperature measurements and also the thermal conductivity of the lunar surface by we have a heater on the lunar on the uh, chaste probe which will be heating it and seeing what is the conductivity of the luna uh, regolith which is near to that and similarly the seismograph as i said it will be looking for any any natural seismic events are happening of course it was measuring the uh, artificial events like the rover which was moving around and also when the chaste probe was was penetrating all these measurements also it has carried out apart from that towards the end even the ilsa payload had measured a natural uh, seismic event which could not be associated to any uh, art, uh, natural artificial events so this is a very good finding all these are very good finding about the uh, moon which we have not uh, received 
earlier. So very good signs we have been receiving from the payloads. Okay, uh, I got an information that uh, one the, from the Twitter handle of ISRO that is about the two diagrams that we have received from ILSA. Then one diagram is we have confirmed that is from the Rokram arrangement has been made some pressures and uh, some vibrations in the moon. And the second also is there. Did you have any information regarding that? No, that one only. As of now, it is not it, not able to associate with any artificial events. As of now, it is a natural event which our teams are studying. It. That is one good uh, uh, measurement which has happened with the ILSA payload. What could be the natural event there, that? No, these are the natural seismic events actually which can happen. How we see in Earth, in Moon also whether such an event can happen. That is, the, that is why such a payload is, has been planned. So one such event has happened, our teams are studying, looking into it, what could have happened, what is the re reason or the source for that. Okay, thank you. Again I am coming to you sir. It is about the hope. And, uh, after uh, just days before, we have done the uh, recapturing of this uh, and uh, relaunching of that particular uh, Vikram lantern from the surface of the moon and uh, up to uh, say 40 meter has been done, 40 centimeter has been done. So, uh, what is the result that you have? You, definitely you have assessed the result and uh, it is uh, everything related to the gravitational force and all those things are associated with that. So, do you have the information regarding that and uh, in data regarding that and what would, the, what would be the hope that you have after this experiment? No, in fact, uh, th this was not part of our plan. So we fired the engines again, the same engines where we landed. Two and four engines have been fired and we uh, a small lift has happened and because it is an open loop firing, there is a downrange travel also for about uh, 40 to 60 centimeter we have moved downwards. Uh, because of this, we got a new location two purpose I am seeing, one, uh, two objectives. One is uh, it will act like a precursor for our uh, sample return mission. Second one is we got a new locations for uh, operating the three in situ payloads, whatever uh, lander was carrying. So one is the chaste. The chaste is uh, it will be get inserted into the lunar regolith. So we again uh, inserted into a new location. Similar way for ILSA payload. ILSA payload uh, before the hop on uh, test we have uh, stowed all these elements and once again we deployed and uh, ILSA also has been uh, dropped onto the lunar surface we have got a new place similar way for uh, LP also even though LP was not stowed back because it was not a motorized deployment mechanism it was a spring based deployment mechanism but whereas other two things the chaste as well as uh, the ILSA was retracted and the ramps were stowed so this was the first experiment we have conducted it was totally a challenging and it was a huge success. Did you done uh, again the secondary survey of that ILSA and Chasse in the after the relanding the moon, uh, relanding the Vikram lander there? And did you done anything else regarding the Chasse when temperature measuring and uh, ILSA mission measurements? And also such uh, measurements were continued after the relanding. Yes, in fact, uh, I was telling the same point. Before the hop on experiment, we have retracted the Chasse, we have uh, retracted the ILSA ramp was stowed, uh, stowed back and then only we perform this uh, open loop firing test. After uh, uh, successfully completing the hop on test, we have again uh, deployed the Chaste, ILSA and uh, almost a day we have uh, conducted the scientific uh, operations like all the three payloads, Chaste, Ramba as well as ILSA. All the three payloads were operated for one continuous day. In fact, we got a new location, we got a new, we are getting a new findings. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. And uh, one more question and then I will conclude. Uh, so, he had told me that all those payloads were reworked after this relanting. So, definitely there will be a data. Is there any difference with the data that we had earlier and uh, later? Uh, as I said, uh, it is a totally different location where it has not totally different, totally different. It's slightly, uh, uh, the downrange is slightly of the order of say 0.5 meter away. The lander has again landed and uh, ILSA particularly has uh, landed in a, in a more, the surface contact was even better compared to the previous uh, uh, landed location. So that way good amount of uh, measurements have happened from the ILSA payload as well as from the Chaste payload also. Uh, science uh, studies are under progress. We have to get a more details from the science team. Okay, thank you very much, sir. Thank you, sir. Tirshayum Valiru, Sandeshum, Adaburth and Nereva the Vivangalumana Namkopo Lebicha, Tirshayam Namkarandu Verodum, Nandi Parayam, Nandi Parayan the Matramala, Turu Jangalka, Avaka, Asham Sagalum Naram.